Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new changes and improvements available on Windows 11 build 22635.3420. These changes are not tied to any specific release of Windows 11, but some may arrive through monthly updates and some others could arrive as part of version 24H2, but it all depends on when these features are completed. Okay, let's dive into the changes for this build of Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything to you and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, let's look at the widgets icon for the taskbar because now it aligns to the right side of the screen as you can see right here. And also the side panel also slides in from the right side. If this experience looks familiar because it's the same approach that Microsoft has been using for the news and interest experience available on Windows 10. However, this is only available when you're using the alignment to the left or the taskbar. So like if you switch the alignment to center, we're going to see that the widgets icon will now align to the left side of the screen. Another small change on the taskbar, it's on the Copilot action menu. Actually, it doesn't have a name. I'm just calling it action menu. And when you copy some text, we're going to see that the menu now looks a little bit different. And Microsoft, it's even going further with this menu. And we might even see some changes in the future. Microsoft is also planning to update the all apps section in the start menu and on future releases we might see a layout that it just shows every icon for every application installed on the computer instead of a instead of a list this is a specific change microsoft did not mention but it is available hidden on bill 22000 635.3420. As part of this release, File Explorer is also getting an update and is bringing back a legacy feature, and that is the ability to drag a file to the address bar and move that file to any of the locations in the path. So in previous version of the operating system, we're talking about Windows 10 and below, you were able to do this action, but then on Windows 11, it was removed because of the new version of the file manager. But now that feature is coming back. And as you can see, now when you drag a file to the address bar, we get the action tooltip. Does give us a hint that we can move the file. And then when you drop it, the file is going to move. And then when you go to that path, you are going to find the file. In this release, Microsoft is also updating the share interface with an option to generate a QR code for a link or for a file that is stored on OneDrive. I tried to enable this feature, but I wasn't able to, but I can show you this short clip that shows how that feature works. And basically when you click the share button, you will get this interface with the option to generate a QR code. However, you were able to create a QR code for a long time. And that is by just right clicking the page and selecting the create QR code for the specific page and you will get the same result. Microsoft is also updating the lock screen for Windows 11 and for Windows 10. And now when the computer is locked, you're going to see dynamic widgets. And as you can see, these are the new widgets that you're going to see that it uses a modern design with transparency and it will show you the weather information plus different information with different widgets, including market for traffic and for sports. If you want to enable that feature, you need to go to settings and then on personalization, you go to the lock screen and you have to make sure that you turn on the weather and more option for the lock screen status setting. And that's it. Those are the most significant changes that you're going to find on Windows 11 build 22635.3420. I usually don't make videos for builds in the beta channel, but uh, this one caught my eye because there were a bunch of little things that are new to the operating system. And now I'm just going to show you how, how did I enable this feature on the preview build for, for this particular release. So to enable the features on this particular release, I'm using the Vive tool that you can download from this 
GitHub page. And in here, you just need to download the, the latest version of the tool available. You just need to save it on the computer. Then you just need to open the file. Then you want to extract all the files from the zip. And once you have everything extracted, you need to copy the path. And then you need to open command prompt as an administrator. In this case, I'm just going to open the Windows terminal. If you don't know how to open command prompt as an administrator, just open a start and look for the terminal or CMD, right click on it and select the run as administrator option. Then we're just gonna use the CD and do a control V shortcut to paste the path, then enter to access the folder. And now we're going to run the commands to enable each of the features. So to enable the lock screen, new weather widgets and the other additional information, you need to run a few commits. And that includes this command, then press enter. You also need to run this command with this ID and then press enter. And this is supposed to enable the feature, but in my case, I had to run a different one. And then after I restarted the computer, I was able to see the lock screen with the widgets. And this is the command that I run and it worked for me. So first run the first two, restart the computer. And if it doesn't work, also run this command and see if that makes it available. One thing to keep in mind is that even though you can turn on these hidden features on Windows 11, you might still get them or not. This command will enable the option to create a QR code on the shared experience. And I did run this command before, but like you saw in the video, I wasn't able to actually get it. But this is supposed to be the ID that you need to run to enable that feature. Now I'm going to clear the screen. And now this command will enable the drag and drop feature that is available for File Explorer. Now you need to run these three commands with these specific IDs to enable the widgets icon on the right side. And finally, if you want to enable the new all apps section on the start menu, you need to use this command. After you run all these commands, restart the computer, and you should be able to see at least some of the features for this particular preview of Windows 11. And that's it. Remember to like the video, share your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.